We are back. We are ready for our third professional fight of the evening. Let's get the tail of the tape. Right now, we have the tail of the tape. Joshua Stansberry versus Victor Jones. Joshua Stansberry, 30 years old, six, uh, six foot, two inches tall, 223 pounds. He has a professional fight record of six and two. He's going up against Victor Jones, who's 27 years old. He's six foot one, 215 pounds, and he's compiled a three wins to only one defeat inside the cage. This fight will be held at 2.05. Light heavyweight, co-main event of the evening. I think we're gonna see a lot of fireworks here. Stansberry's been running around all night. He is ready to go. And uh, I think this is gonna be a really tough test in Victor Jones, who has a three and one record. So I'm anxious to see this fight. I think this got great co-main event material, Rich. Victor Jones comes out, he wants to, he wants to strike. He wants to take the fight standing, and he's just willing to finish at any opportunity. Yeah, both of these guys, I know, they want to put on a show. The crowd is going crazy, and I, you know how that goes. It really gets the adrenaline pumping more it's when amazing. you're a fighter. It makes you say, okay, and it's somehow you can have a perfect game plan and go out there, and you just go completely off of it, and your game plan becomes what the crowd's dictating, and you just go after it. So I think we're going to see an awesome fight here. This is a great co-main event, and following this co-main event, is our main event, which features Mark Cherico. Down to Dan Bogan. Let's get the official ring introduction. We have Victor Jones fighting out of the blue corner. You hear his entr entrance music now, excuse me. He's coming out now. Rich, I know you fought on a lot of cards. We keep mentioning this, but how important is it when you're going into a co-main event the nerves you've got to watch some of your team members fight and sometimes you see him win sometimes you see him lose what's the thought process going in your head uh, if you see your team member win or you see your team member lose uh, it's very heartbreaking to see him lose but if they come back victorious it lifts you up that much more and nerves like i said before everybody's a different human being some people enjoy fighting last some people just want to come in get it done with and leave but whenever you're fighting at a professional level you're used to waiting a little bit longer. And after a while, your mentality could beat you up and it could be to your disadvantage. And also, it could be to your advantage depending on the human being. Right, I, I see it both ways also. I think you put it very well. You know, Victor Jones is a seven year veteran of MMA, which is actually a pretty long time. The sport of MMA hasn't even been legal in Pennsylvania that long. Um, he fights out of Cooper's gym and Jones's MMA all the way from Detroit, Michigan. So like we said, we're pulling people in from everywhere. And this guy is a true martial artist. He studies judo, jujitsu, kickboxing. I mean, if there is some title of combat uh, to its title, or he's in it. This guy wants to learn everything, and he's constantly learning. He's 27 years old. He's getting right to that prime of his fight career, Rich. Well, he's going to learn real fast because he's going against a very, very, very strong individual, Josh Stansberry, who is six and two. This is going to be a tough test for Victor Jones. Yeah, it's going to be a very tough, tough test. I agree with you on that statement. And really, this is the first light heavyweight bout of the evening and the only light heavyweight bout of the evening. So I'm anxious to see how this one plays out. Uh, his opponent, Josh, known as the Sandman Stansberry, there's a lot of shirts out there with Stansberry's name on it. So he brings in a, a large following here also. I think Dan Bogan is about ready to introduce the Sandman. That's a tough nickname, the Sandman. There's a lot of weight behind that. Absolutely. I have nightmares over the Sandman. I have. Twice. Crowd erupts as you hear the music and the introduction of who's walking to the cage right now, Josh. Stansberry. The Sandman. I was afraid to say it. I told you I had nightmares over the Sandman. I know, you saw me flinch a little bit. I appreciate your caring for me. You know how I get. The Sandman and the Hitman, both nicknames that scare me, make me look over my shoulder. And this kid, he earns the right of the nickname, the Sandman. And there you see it right there. There he is. Oh, look at that banner coming down. This is the first fight I've seen with a banner tonight. It is, and it just shows you when you're getting into the pro fights how things change. 
how sponsors come to you, how people want to attach their name to you. And you know what? While we bring that, if you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, that little CRN, we've been blessed to be able to work with a group of guys from Cut and Run Studios. That's who's putting and producing all of our product together, the camera work, and they do such a great job for us. They do all kind of events. They're your go-to guys. Anytime you need something done, if you can think there's a video camera and something you want to tape, you want to go to cnrstudios.com, or you can go to Cut and Run Studios, C-U-T, the letter N, R-U-N, dot com, and you'll see a whole portfolio of everything they've done. And they're doing another phenomenal job tonight, and they're a great partner with us, Rich. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for better. Yeah. And here we are. We have Josh Stansberry, whose professional record is 6-2. and two. He is a Bellator veteran. He has fought in Bellator. His teammate, Joey the Hitman Holt, just fought and was victorious. They fight it with Team Impact. Once again, and we saw who was out there um, with them, UFC fighter. The man himself, oh, Dempsey. Chris Dempsey. Exactly. Dempsey was out there. So these guys are training with the highest level of fighters around. They're not training with just, you know, somebody who comes to class once a week and wants to stay in shape wrestling. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you go to a high level, you have to intensify everything. Steel sharpened steel. We've got a couple of swords ready to go to battle, forged in the furnace. And Dan Bogan is right now ready to introduce these swords. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our Crowd erupts, Chuck. Yeah, they follow this young man from Ohio. So you know he's a big deal. They travel with him. It's for the chip for the official right announcements. Here. Look at me. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. I expect you to bathe every knee at all times. I want a clean, fair fight. Any questions red? Any questions blue? Chuck, you go back. Interesting thing about Josh Stansberry. His first, his two losses on his record were his first two professional okay, fights. Sir, you and ready? one of them he sir, revenged against on, John Hawk later in his career. And Stansberry's a really good guy. One of the things he's most proud of when talking with him. You know what it was? It wasn't his 10 and 2 amateur record. It wasn't being the NAAFS amateur champ. It wasn't his pro series like heavyweight title in NAAFS. It wasn't the multiple grappling tournaments, being a 10-year vet. It was that he coaches youth wrestling out of Liverpool. That's the kind of guy he is. That's what he sees as important, and that's classy. I can't agree more. I see Victor Jones, as Dan Bogan said, one of his specialists is Muay Thai. He came out throwing Thai kicks to slow Josh Stansberry down. Good job, though, of a clinch there, and trying to slow Stansberry down, Victor Jones, I got a little scared also during the introduction when Dan Bogan said the nickname of Victor Jones as the Bone Crusher. Here I am face to face with a Bone Crusher and the Sandman. I just avoided a Hitman earlier. It's scary stuff up here, Rich. You're, you're getting pretty lucky. I know. I'm glad you're here to protect me. Back to the fight, though. Inside leg kicks working. Outside leg kicks. They're still feeling each other out. Stansberry has slight a slight height advantage. Yeah. As you can see, he's throwing out that long, long jab. But Victor time. Jones, he continues you going ready? after that leg. Yep. Oh, hey, I call time back off for Looked like a real quick, barely hey. touched hey. low shot okay. below the belt. Sure. Josh Stansberry wanted to continue going, but Chip Snyder, when he tells you to stop, you stop. That's exactly right. You listen to the referee. 
It was a complete accident. He's oh, the, only there for your safety. And the crowd, the crowd is just chanting Stansberry's name. This will do so much. Now it's getting scary. Sandman is being chanted, Rich. Let's fight. Victor Jones, he's very, very cool and collected right now. He's he's just taking his time. He's just feeling things out right now. Did a good job of laying and a big overhand that right. right. Yep, Stansberry keeps going with that. As you can see, Stansberry's turning more of a, 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 a different angle. He's he's more like vertical towards Victor Jones, trying to make him a less of a target to hit. No doubt. And I, I, one thing I hope Stansberry, because of the crowd's reaction, doesn't get over aggressive, trying to push this fight too fast. You know, but once again, he's hitting that big overhand right. It, it seems like, it, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why Jones is just leaving his hand very low. and. He keeps going with that overhand right, which Stansberry keeps connecting. And this is the second time against the cage here. And he got, and he got the, uh, bear hugged him straight to the ground. Yeah, he just outmuscled him right there, straight up against the cage, good positioning. What, nobody, if you guys are new, whenever somebody gets double underhooks on you and they clasp her hands behind your back and they squeeze, it takes your hips away and you can no longer move your legs. Exactly, you're, you're at their mercy. They're gonna move you, they're gonna throw you, they're gonna toss you. Victor Jones trying to a jab as he's getting up. As you see, Stansberry, he's doing a nice job protecting the right side of his face. That right hand is planted against his face. What I'm watching here, and it's starting to scare me a little bit, Jones is going left and right. And now see how he's going left? If they engage a little closer, and, and he keeps circling off to his left, he's circling right into the power of the Sandman. And that's dangerous because we've seen him wing that big right hand a few times with a lot of bad intent behind it. And it seems like Jones is messing up a little bit of the footwork there once in a while. I just hope he gets, you know, doesn't run into one of those big power shots because it could be vicious. And that's a very, very good point. You know, you do not want to circle towards the power hand and he's continuing doing it. It's just a matter of time before he lands a vicious overhand right. Yeah, yeah he seems to be correcting it here a little bit. But no, good job. That's exactly what you want to do from the Sandman. He's kicking, throws a left kick. What's that make your opponent do? It makes him circle the opposite way, which is into your power. So that left kick is actually a setup to get him circling how you want. Oh, another tight choke here. But it looks like Stansberry already got out. Good cage control. Victor Jones, Victor Jones, he's, he's squeezed with all he can. We said earlier, if you don't feel like you have anything, it's a waste of energy to squeeze. Yeah, he's going to get to take oh, the ball. He's head slammed off the mat. He's that going for the back. Feel good. He took his back. He's got one hook, Rich. How dangerous is this right one now? One hook. If he gets this other hook in, it's just a matter of time before he sinks in this choke. He's getting close. We still have almost a minute left in this fight. Stansberry's going deep. He only got one hook. He tapped. The single tap makes Josh the Sandman Stansberry the victor. What a great, great job of capitalizing. Wow. He took, he saw his, his opportunity on his back. He took his back and he sunk in that one hook and that one hook started opening up submissions. Another finish by a rear naked show. Great, great job. Outstanding by the Sandman. And I'm gonna tell you this for a fact. If Jones doesn't tap, the Sandman's gonna do exactly that. He's going to put Jones to sleep. Jones had no choice, Rich. At first, I didn't think he had it completely under the chin. It was kind of hard to see, but it still hurts somebody squeezing the jaw. Yeah, I think hopefully we have a replay of this. Rich, walk us through this. Very, very strong performance. They're, they, they were against the cage, and like I was telling you, Victor Jones was wasting his energy squeezing. He dropped down and then he just lost position and Stansberry took advantage, threw one hook in right away. It took no time at all, throwing some punches, distracting him. And then eventually he just sunk it in. And like I was telling you, I didn't think he was under the chin right here. I, it looked like he was on the jaw, but no, no, nonetheless, it hurts. Oh yeah, no doubt. You can even break somebody's jaw if you get on the jaw tight enough. And it looked like that was almost what happened. Just a big, strong kid and Stansberry on your back, squeezing with all of his might training every day and you have that person on your back squeezing that's not a place any of us want to be and man kudos both with a very good performance i thought we might get to the second round on that but that small window of opportunity we've seen it happen so many times tonight taken and boom let's take that and let's finish the fight great job of finishing the fight i agree josh stansberry did a really good job of mixing things up he was throwing kicks he was throwing head kicks he was throwing punches and he was going for takedowns in the end game 
80, 90%, almost, I'm sorry, almost 100% of flights will go against that cage. That cage is so important, and you could either make it with you or against you. And it all started with what you said earlier. Those double underhooks to a body lock and a clasp is what got the takedown. The takedown set up the position from him taking the back, which set up the choke. It all come from that body clinch up against the fence. Cage control, extremely important, and it made the difference in this fight. Great job by Stansberry walking through the process and not trying to rush to submission, but setting it up with proper positioning, then finishing with the submission. Dan Bogan, if we can go to Dan Bogan for the official announcement of the fight. Let me have you. Please. Rich, one thing that the Sandman didn't put to sleep was the crowd because they were going crazy. They were wide awake and they were just exploding in that victory. I, I agree. It was just amazing. As you can see behind me, this is all Joey Holt and Joshua Stanberry's fans. They are excited to be here. Yep, they are part of the crowd. These crazy guys here are having fun at Gladiators of the Cage. 19, we're here. Let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back to the action. 